Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is the 25th and that means that it's Smash That Small Paper Pad. This month I decided to go for something a little bit different. Um, I'm running out of cards in my stash. Whenever I send out happy mail or a prize or anything like that I like to pop a card in with it and my stash of cards was running really low so I thought take this opportunity and make some more cards for the stash so i picked out this luxury paper stack it's from um the works and it comes with eight designs of paper um, and then you get some like die cuts and things um so i thought right i'll try and use up all of the paper from this pack and i haven't completely used it up but i've used quite a lot of it so that was what you got in the pack so this this were the papers here um, and then you got some die cuts and things as well. So I have got loads and loads of the die cuts left, um, but that's okay because I do save them all. Um, every time I get any of these packs, any that I don't use when I sort of bust through the pack, I pop in in a little bag and they all get brought out time and again when I'm wanting to do things in a bit of a hurry. Um, I've got the sticker sheet left um, and I've got these vellum quotes and sayings i don't like the vellum things that come in these pack very much because a they're all jumbled about so much that it's really hard to you know cut out the the saying the sentiment that you want with a die or with a cut a paper trimmer um without cutting things that are around it so um and obviously vellum can be quite hard to secure as well so i'm not the biggest lover of those but i have used one or two of them um, I've also used these word chippy things that my bestie um, gave to me in a little piece of happy mail. So if you're watching Christine, I really, really want some more of these. Um, I think she's just printed them, but they are fantastic. So um, I'd like some more of those. Um, I've used loads of those. Um, and then I've got some paper scraps left. So this is all I've got left of the papers from that pack. So, you know, I am down to scraps. I will use them up, um, but I am sort of down to the scrappy parts of that now. I probably really could get one or two more cards out of it, but I'm sort of out of time. So, so let's have a look at the cards that I made. So, first of all, we've got this one, which has got this lovely, um, fun triangle patterned paper in the background with a blue square sort of offset on, um, on the on the middle there <clears throat> you got the car the bike that's floating away on the balloons up into the sky so i put some clouds in the background and again i've put that off um on an angle and then i've popped these little um sequins little clear iridescent sequins all around with the sentiment that says nothing but blue skies and then on the inside i've popped a strip of the patterned paper and i will cut out a um I've got a nice stitched rectangle die that I will cut and just make a, a panel in there to write on. Then we've got this one. I really love this one because I love hot air balloons um, and I just think this one looks all bright and cheery. Um, so again, we've got the patterned paper in the background and then I've used a blue linen cardstock again um, to make a central panel. And then over the top of that, I've layered some of the die cuts of these beautiful um, hot air balloons. And then I used some dies in my stash to cut the sun and the clouds. Um, and I've just layered those about, you know, popped one up over the top of this balloon and layered the other one slightly over that balloon. So it looks like the balloons going off behind the clouds. And then again, just a few of those iridescent sequins just to add a little bit of sparkle. And then I've got one of the vellum sentiments down the bottom there that says, have a great day. So I've secured it with tape underneath so that there's a strip of tape under the whole thing. That's the best way I find to secure it without seeing the um, the the glue the adhesive too much and that's fine for cards and things but um if you're wanting it longer term most of the tapes do yellow underneath there um, eventually but it's okay for a little greetings card i then went for this really lovely green one and on all of them i've inked around the edges of the pieces of cardstock and the die cuts themselves um, and this one i just thought was really pretty um lovely spring-like card with the the lovely leafy patterned paper in the background and then these die cuts of the flowers in their pots wishing you lots of happiness so again used one of the vellum um, sentiments and again i've just secured that down with a piece of tape running through the middle there 
And again, I've popped some um, sequins on. This time I've got some green, pale green iridescent ones and some clear iridescent ones. And again, we've just got a strip of paper in the, in the middle there. Then we've got this very purple card, which isn't like me, so I don't normally do purple, but I quite like it. Um, so I've got the purple leaves in the background. Um, I did a piece of purple linen cardstock this time, and I just stamped some um, leaves in a coordinating um, ink over the top of that, just to because it looked a bit sort of empty without anything on there. Um, I've layered this lovely unicorn with all her flowers. And then I really like this sentiment and it says, um, roses are red, violets are blue. I made this card just for you. It's not the neatest. It wouldn't pass a test, but it's made with love. And that's the best. <laughs> I really like that. Um, so, yeah, I popped some little the little heart there um, again from the die cuts. I layered this over um, a piece of the cardstock, but I just inked it with the same ink that I used to stamp the leaves. I just... Um, brushed some ink onto the piece that I've layered the sentiment onto the top of and then I've popped some um, purple and clear iridescent sequins on at this time and then again we've got a coordinating strip in the middle um, we've got this one which is really cute I really like this one so pattern paper in the background and the moon and stars um, die cuts that were in the pack with just a few little um, flat backs and some sequins and then I've got these two cute little guys we've got the lovely little panda and the sheep holding his bunting and it says we're all made of stardust and I just made a bit of a, a foreground again using um, a scrap from the other um, another one of the patterned papers and I've just inked around the edges in dusty concord, concord to make it look um, like the you know a night time um, scene and that's the ground that they're sitting on and I thought that was really cute. I haven't put anything in the centre of that one, so I need to do that one. Um, and then we've got this guy, which is um, the llama. And the pa patterned paper had got the llamas and the um, cactuses and things on it. So I just cut out the llama a couple of times and decoupaged it. So if I tip it to the side there, you can see that I've put a full llama and then I've just put his head and tassel on, on top of that just to give it that sort of um, raised 3D look. Again, I've used one of these um, sentiment strips from a friend, which says embrace your own pace, which I thought was quite cute, cute for the llama. Um, and I've put some bunting around here and it says at the top there. So it's be happy, embrace your own pace. And then I've popped some um, pinky, reddy coloured um, iridescent sequins here and there because I just thought that pulled that sort of pinky colour out of the tassels and out of the flowers in the background. Um, and then that's just got a strip of that one. And then finally, we've got this cutie. So we've got this gorgeous raccoon floating off up into the sky. Um, we've got the lovely um, white and yellow triangle pattern paper in the background. And um, this time I used a bit of yellow linen cardstock um, as a centre panel. And I, I've inked around the edge with fossilised amber. And then I've just stamped some scripty stuff in the background. Again, just because it looked a little bit plain with nothing. So I've just stamped that in the background there, again, using that fossilised amber. Some of the clouds, these time, this time these were the die cut ones. And then we've got the little raccoon floating off, holding on to his balloons. And it says, you are your only limit. And then I've used these gorgeous sequins that um, I was sent as part of my Road to Thousand Subbies um, giveaway. Somebody popped those in as Happy Mail. Um, and they're just fantastic because there's all different sizes. So I've popped those on with a little flat-backed gem in the centre. And then again, we've got a strip of the coordinating paper. So that's what I made for this month's um, Smash That Small Paper Pad. Um, the paper pad is nearly all gone. I've, I've not got much of it left, as you saw. Um, and I have got a plan to um, finish that off. Um, so I shall get that done. And, and I think we'll probably be on to a new pad for next month. So that's it from me for now. I hope you've enjoyed looking at what I've created for this month's Smash That Small Paper Pad. And I hope it inspires you to get some of your papers and some of your um, die cuts and ephemera out and create some cards. This didn't take me long, probably two or three hours. Um, but I've got, you know, a nice little bundle of cards now. Um, to send out with my happy mail so don't forget to check out everybody else in this hop there will be lots and lots of um, 
incredibly talented crafters that will have done loads and loads and loads of different projects this month. They will all be linked in the description box below this video. Our host, Deb, is not um, participating this month. Poor old Deb's had lots and lots of trouble with her computer. Um, so fingers crossed, I've got my fingers crossed for you, Deb, that she manages to get her um, laptop sorted and we will see her again next month. Um, but um, there will still be lots and lots of inspiration um, with all the other ladies. So please do go over and check them all out. And that's it from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon in another crafty video. Bye for now.